okay i can hear myself so i'm hoping that is uh, a winner winner so that might actually make everybody watch the <laughs> yeah there we go so apologies if you have to watch any uh, any adverts again so <laughs> yeah that's not my intended way of getting more people to watch it <laughs> right so let's get cracking oh raking it in yeah about 6p that <laughs> So, I'm not sure if anyone heard me before, but welcome to the stream tonight. Um, again, it is a little bit of an impromptu stream, this one. It wasn't planned. Um, however, there is a lot of people who have asked this evening for me to uh, to do a stream to paint the, uh, the lat gun ship. So, I thought, why not? Let's do it. So, I've got my reference material ready picked a really nice colour that's going to work really well which uh, for any of you that didn't see the first time is staggered on scale green it's like a bluey green colour really nice colour I think perfect for what I'm trying to achieve on this one so let's get this base get all the base colours down first I'm going to try and work quite quickly on this is the plan just makes a little bit better viewing so yeah welcome to everybody who's uh, who's tuning in yeah the uh, the affiliate status Andy kind of popped up once uh, I stopped doing all the uh, Call of Duty streaming because I wasn't getting very many people watching that so it kind of kept my numbers down but as soon as the uh, as soon as they were sort of dropping off my 30 days, it was uh, made life a lot simpler to get the affiliate status. Yeah, just a nice little added bonus. So, yeah, we're not going to be messing about tonight, guys. So, we're just going to be getting stuck straight in. So the idea is I'm going to try and paint as much of this while I'm on stream as I can. Is the plan. But yeah, how's everyone doing tonight? Have you, uh, have you picked up any of the new models that have just come out today? Uh, I think all the... Uh, the points have been released and everything like that. Um, it would it would seem that the uh, this gunship is uh, a little bit pricier than some people thought. To be honest, um, I was sort of expecting it to be sort of high forties in points. Um, yeah. Oh man, that, I think I was definitely too old when all this sort of stuff was coming out. Well, I say old. A little bit older when all this sort of stuff was coming out. I think I was more, uh, still more into my Games Workshop stuff than I was into Star Wars at that point in my life. However, I am well and truly a Star Wars geek now anyway. Not ashamed to uh, admit it. But yeah, it's going to be... Uh, love all this sort of stuff this model has really actually surpassed my expectations i thought it was going to be a little bit skinny and a bit a bit smaller than it is it kind of feels like it's a little bit bigger than it should be in terms of scale um however it's uh it looks pretty good So yeah, so the plan is get all the base coats down first, have a, a good idea where I want to put all my paint. And then we'll see where we go from there. Um, with this one as well, normally I don't usually paint too much of the underside of models. 
However, I feel like this one has got so much detail on the hull that we'll have to uh, we'll have to get some paint under here anyway. But it's not a problem because we keep it as the uh, the base colour. Yeah, I'd agree there, uh, Matt. It's, um, it feels a little bit pricey, especially when you get all the toys on it and things like that. You know, you're looking mid-60s, you know, 70 points for some of the beefier ones. Um, however, there is, um, I think, Hawk at 55 points. You know, if you just keep him bog-standard and naked, he's... Um, the the ability has got to give people a boost. The way I play with the Naboos and things like that, I think could be quite good actually. Because the the hard point of this model is that it doesn't really like to stress itself out when it starts getting deplete tokens. You know, it's kind of you want to be moving. You know, you want to stay uh, on the move in terms of your blues maneuvers. That is. Second thin coat over that bit. Um, so I chose to give this an undercoat of Adeptus Mechanicus Grey. Um, so let's just. Yeah, it kind of gave me a nice, um, a nice position to go at. So. I'm going to get the blue over the top. So reference material wise, there's not too much blue on the top of this, it's more just down the side. But then we get some... Uh, Yeah, it kind of just pops itself uh, down that edge and under the wing as well. So let's get this other wing done. Cracking. So uh, just as a quick reminder, guys, as well, we've got five days left on the patron as well. Um, at the end of the five days, uh, we'll be doing a draw uh, to win a custom painted expansion of your choice. Small based expansion that is to start with. So if you want to be in with a chance to win that, head over to the Patreon. You know, join in on one of the uh, the tiers there and it automatically enters you into the giveaway. Um, at the minute we've got nine people eligible. So you've got quite good odds of winning something if you uh, if you join up. So any help is uh, appreciated, and uh, you know it's helping us improve the channel and get where we need to be. So thank you in advance if you choose to do that. Get. Again, this colour actually is a really, really good fit. Really pleased with this to start with. That's uh, a good choice. Okay, so blues wise, I think let's get these recesses done. As uh, everyone finished work for the week, have you uh, has it relaxation time for the weekend? You know, 
all. So uh, yeah, feel free to share the uh, stream around if you like, guys. Try and get some more people in that are interested in uh, having a look at this uh, beauty being painted. So uh, right, let's move on to some of the blue details now. So on the piece of artwork that I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Got six spikes running down. So let's get those spikes into place straight away. They are a bit longer at the front than they are at the rear. And they start just behind the canopy. So one there. There. To map it out and get the spacing right and then I can always cut these back in when I do when I do the white shortly I just want to sort of have a play with it and get them in the right place but there you go six they look pretty even but yeah, I'll cut them back in with the white when we come back round and start painting this bottom section. So six of them, that's pretty good. So behind the canopy, down onto that arch on that doorway. So behind the canopy, down onto that arch on that doorway. So that's one. The last one starts halfway down that panel. Three. Four. So what I try and do is roughly cut it in first. I get that six on there. And try and look over the top just to see how even they are. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Okay, so uh, that's most of the blue done there. Back to the reference material. Um, so it's mainly blue on the top. Okie doke. Oof, 2,000 point epic game. Jesus. That's going to be a long day. Okay, so let's now map out the red. So, it's quite a, quite a thick red colour on the front of this. So, I'm going to start off with the red I'm going to use is corn red. So corn red, and then I'll highlight it up with uh, my fist on red. I've got better red than that. Like I say, the way I usually paint my models is I'll block out, block out all the uh, the core colours first, get everything in the right place, and then go from there. So, looking at the front of again my reference artwork it goes all the way around on this on this piece here into there then it arches over the top comes back down to there and goes to the door but there is no door on these so Let's go to the top of that panel there. Then we've got a little bendy face there. And then it goes a lot higher. But that's wrong because that goes up here to start with. And it dips down in between. Sort of dipping in here. It's 
So I'll take that bit there as the door. It's going to go all the way under. Onto that side. So that's colour. This section in. So, Matt, um, I've been looking at the. Uh, the details for this, the markings on this, it keeps coming up with some very funky names. So just double check what um, unit is this from? And then what I'll do as well is it, uh, it seems to cut cut down a little bit, so I'm gonna have to just uh, drop this in a bit as well. So it drops down. So middle of that panel there. Virtually straight down to it. And again, we can uh, we tidy all this up as and when we work through the colours. And literally the whole front of it, including the guns, are red. See already just by sort of getting the paint in the right place. It really brings the model together already. You know, really early stages of the paint scheme. Okay, so kind of dips in and then comes over a little bit, so I'm just gonna Extend that with a little bit of a bend at the end. Okay, so it's looking pretty, pretty symmetrical there over the top. Okay. <laughs> I say it's definitely going to be a long day for you boys tomorrow. together pretty quick actually right so I think the next thing to do is I'm just gonna black out these inner sections of these like windows down each side get the base coat of the white on as well and then that should give us a pretty good position to then stick a wash over the top um, first things first I'm gonna stick lead belcher uh, so a metal colour into the top of the, uh, the missile pod area there. Uh, and also as well, you know, I'm pretty sure these uh, these guns at the front should be some sort of cannon or something. You know, the way the model's been built. You know, maybe they just didn't want to stick cannons on it for, for game purposes. It was... Uh, 
I was hoping for something to be in there, I'll be honest. They are pretty beefy. Okay, whack a bit of that in there. Because, yeah, when we get to painting these ball turrets, I'm going to try and put the same sort of scheme on these as there is on the ones that are in the wings. If I can get that right, I'd be quite happy. Okay, so there's a silver in there. That'll get washed with a null oil in a little while. Them teeth are going to look wicked on the front of that when they're on there. Yeah, I've never seen the old cartoon there, Matt, so I need to go and watch that, obviously. But obviously, when I was doing the, uh, the research for this, I, I noticed... Uh, Obviously a lot of it, just names I hadn't really uh, recognised. Okay, so let's get the grey colour on now. So I just need to make sure my brush is nice and clean. Like I said, I just did a red colour, so I need to make sure it's uh, none of that showing through. We don't want a, a pink lap, do we? So let's black out them windows first. In fact, no, let's do the white first. Because then I can be a bit more liberal with it. So, putting on um, one of my other favourite colours, so Celestra Grey base. Um, like I said, in the artwork, it's a, a grey white colour, so this is sort of a perfect colour for it, I think. That makes this uh, this scheme an easy choice then, eh, Matt? Definitely. Sorry fellas, just trying to concentrate.
got to say, what an absolutely fantastic model. It really, really is. Yeah, I think it's, uh, a lot of us will agree, it's been worth the wait, but man, that wait was long. So does anyone else, uh, anyone else pick any of these up today? Or the Z shuttle if you're a first order fan? Uh, or the uh, the uh, separatist uh, gunship? I'll tell you what, that side slip manoeuvre looks pretty uh, pretty juicy, but I think you can definitely uh, predict it a little bit. Somewhere, but I can't remember where it was. It's in the back, in that pink box. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's get all this underside painted as well. I'm quite sure it's uh, going to be white. So you can see the colours are already coming together really quickly. Really pretty cool. I'm liking this already. That's why it's quite important to have that little bit of reference material there. Just keeps you going in the right direction when you're painting a scheme that you're not overly familiar with. Yeah, so with this as well, keeping uh, keeping my paint um, thin down to a good degree. Just lots of nooks and crannies. So as you're painting over it, you want it to flow into those recesses really nicely. So 
from my uh, yeah, so from my reference material. It seems to dip down a touch. So what I'm gonna do on this front bit? Just knock it down a touch. Because there is some detail on that front section that gonna need a little bit more space to reproduce. And the eyes are gonna be up here somewhere, just in that spot. So yeah, so hello to everybody in the chat. Uh, anyone I've not said hello to already? Uh, hey Mark, hey Matt, uh, Andy. Forward. Sorry, fellas. Still working through getting that right. This side might need a little bit of work on the blue again on the spikes, but like I said, we're definitely not finished with them, so. So a lot of it is uh, rough work to start with. Excuse me. One from the top abs. Huh? One from the top. Look at it. So. It's good when the uh, when the kids are old enough to reach the top shelf in the uh, in the fridge and get me with the beer. It's all good. Okay, right, so all these basic colours really, really have come together really nicely. Uh, and quickly as well, actually. I'm quite pleased with how how quickly we've got to this point. What, just over half an hour? Love a bit of that. But the, uh, the time comes when you start highlighting and doing all your details. So we're still quite a long way off this yet, obviously. Uh, right, so uh, on my reference material, uh, we've got a little bit of white underneath the main gun. So there should be a panel under here. So I'm going to go with... So I'm looking like it's the bottom half of this one here. So smaller brush. You always know when I'm cleaning my brush anyway, you can definitely hear it. Right, clean that one off. 
smaller brush. Okay, so I'm going to paint the underside. side of that one there okay make a mistake don't worry about it too much because we can go over that with uh, some dark blue in a minute wipe off the excess so same on the other side as well So what do you think so far guys? Yeah, it's looking pretty sharp, I like that. So getting all the paint in the right places. Um, again, look at the reference material. Um, looks like... There's a little ring towards the back of the engine, so I'd suggest it's probably this little bit here. So I'm going to do that. I suppose later on down the line, if you find it's not, then you can always change it. Thanks, Mega Silver. Welcome to the uh, to the stream, pal. Remember, guys, hit that follow button if you haven't already, and then you'll know when I go live. Uh, right. So now I need to find. I need to find the pit. There is a picture at the top of the wings. Actually, I've seen. Let's see if I can find that one. Just so I can see how many of the then white stripes um, or the white teeth type marks are on there. Okay, so I found another reference point. Um, to be honest, the top of it looks like it should be white. So this bit here should be white. And then over the back as well. So what I'm going to do is going to stick with it. Uh, Matt, if you're still there, I'm going to do this top bit in white. Do you want it to come all the way down the back? Uh, definitely going to do the top section where the guns are. That's where the ammunition is. That needs to be white. But let's just make it look really cool.
Tommy, hey, how we doing, pal? Yep, so Sunday stream, for anyone that's interested at the moment, we'll be doing a, uh, a Z shuttle on Sunday stream. So definitely join in for that one. It's going to be a very unique design. That's going to wear. Uh, it's going to look pretty cool too. In fact, all these new models are looking pretty sweet. Right, yeah, I am going to do it all the way down the back here. I think that'll do it well. Keep the exhaust vents blue. Just for a little bit of uh, contrast at the back. Citadel paints, you just go straight over your last paint, no problem. Okay, okay. That so definitely looks more like it. Okay, so looking at Yeah, no, I'll get I'll get it as close as I can, Matt. Like I say, I'm just using all the reference material I've got here that comes up on the laptop. Uh, but it's uh, it's going to be as close as I can get it. Put it that way. So on each wing, then looks like we've got a big tooth at the bottom of the wing. So let's make that go over. That square there. So I stick one big one down the side of that. Again, this is going to be rough, and then we'll cut it back in again. And then we have one, two, three, that's like seven teeth. Starting just behind the ball turret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven teeth. Like I said before, these are just rough, rough positionings, and then we tidy these all up. tooth went on that hinge there two four five six seven so I started just behind the ball turret yet yeah.
the white teeth on the wings looking pretty symmetrical again like I said these are all the rough positionings of everything you know we're getting everything in the right positions <laughs> now I've only been going 45 minutes uh, Liam mate to be fair I'm quite impressed with how much I've got done in 45 minutes I'll be really honest with you right let's black out the So let's get some, some black on the turret. And I'll probably leave these ball turrets till sort of the end. Here's my plan. Yeah, a bit of discussion on the forums before about the ball turrets. However, I think it's uh, definitely adds another dimension to the to the model. On uh, on the ones I've bought for myself, I'm definitely having ball turrets on mine. guys on the forum sort of uh, laid down a bit of a challenge to see if we can uh, somehow cut out this central part and sort of sculpt a, an interior so yeah I think that'll be uh, very interesting uh, right then so let's get the, uh, the side windows done now. So I have to turn the model upside down to get looking at the other part of it. Yeah, then when I put my uh, my null oil wash on here shortly, that will also help. Shade everything in. So I definitely have to tidy this up. Put a little bit of white afterwards. Yeah, absolutely agree, Matt. I think the iconic look. I think when they haven't got them on, it looks a little bit skinny. If that's a, if that's a way to describe it, is it just it doesn't look as beefy as we want it to, in my opinion, anyway. But yeah, so did a, a really, really quick and easy conversion on this before. 
So literally, I've got a map on the wall of where I send all my uh, commissions to. So if you live in Italy or Spain or America, you'll get a pin on the map at some point. Um, and literally those pins that I got with it were just a perfect size. Um, so I snipped half of the pin off, drilled into the, the lat, bit of green stuff and a bit of um, super glue in there just to kind of get the green stuff setting hard. Push the pin into the gap, and then there's a little bit of green stuff at the edge that then the super glue stuck to, and it was like bump done. It's like fantastic, really, really happy with it. For, it literally took two minutes. Uh, right. So let's block out these windows on these ball turrets. Then we'll definitely be free handing. The uh, the lines onto the uh, onto the forward ones. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm just going to paint paint them all black first. And then I can paint number one. I can kind of paint like the uh, the radar dish type focusing beam. Um, as a as sort of an optical illusion so I don't have to sculpt anything onto the ball I'm just going to paint it on and make it look like it should which is always good in painting sometimes you don't have to have a a physical detail to make it work Oh, evening, Rich. How are we doing, buddy? Let's not forget about that. So yeah, this has really come together really quickly. Let's say getting all the base coats in the right places. Sort of really pleased with how it looks. Bit jealous here, Matt, I'll be honest, mate. It's like, obviously being the first one I've painted and literally getting it today, getting it converted, getting it painted. Uh, I've not seen anyone else paint any up yet on the street. Uh, on the, the forums, this could be the first one up. So, obviously a little bit of pressure there to make sure we get it right. Sorry about it, I'll let you off. Shawshank Redemption's a good, uh, a good excuse to be late. Now, don't forget, I've still got to paint my own mat. You know, <laughs> I already have my own scheme for that though, so that's all good. Right, 
Right, so we're going to tidy up some of the uh, the blue areas. Um, again, I'm quite happy with the uh, the teeth. And this needs a bit more on that side. Cool. Right, well, I think all the colours are in the right places. So I think it's time to start... Getting some, uh, let's get a wash over the white. Don't need to wash the blue because it's quite dark already. So, uh, Atticus, so the plan for the ball turrets is I'm going to paint sort of a dish on the front and do some shading on it so it looks like the, uh, the concentration of the firepower disc, whatever it's called, I don't know, the focus point. Put that on and then get some lines over it as well to match my research material. So the research material I've got for this particular one um, actually has the, I think the lines are similar to the wings. Whereas some of the others have got like a, a weird basketball style line on it. Um, but yeah, so the idea is I'll do that. So it'll be black. Yeah, so it'll be mainly black and then I'll do the white lines over the top of it to kind of edge it in to look like one of these ones. Um, and I've also missed filling that in. Yeah, so that's the plan anyway. But in my head, you know, I've already got the, you know, the ideas there. Just a case of executing said idea and getting it right, which I will, because if I've got a good idea, it doesn't usually go too far wrong. You know, sometimes when I'm painting a model, sometimes the longest thing is uh, is actually getting the idea right. Uh, you'd be surprised; it's just going to be some straight lines. Um, it's just about putting the lines in the right places. Uh, right, so to a bigger brush now. Let's open up my brand new Nuln oil. I've uh, I bought a gloss version and it just really wasn't anywhere near good enough. So when I picked up my pre-order today, I thought I'm going to pick one up. And I'm also painting a far sight enclave at the moment. Um, and that requires <laughs> quite a lot of Agrax Earth shade. So I've uh, let's pick some of that up as well. Okay, so with this null oil, just all over the white sections on the side, it's just gonna get into all the nooks and crannies, and then I'll highlight round it. So you can see straight away it sits straight into all those nooks and crannies and gives the uh, the panels the shade that they'll need I'm ready for when I highlight. So basically you just paint within the lines then, it just keeps it really nice and clean. So again, thanks for everyone for tuning in. Uh, like I say, it was a little bit of an impromptu screen uh, stream tonight. Uh, There's quite a few people asking me to do one, so I didn't want to disappoint, you know. Yeah, not that I'm going to do a stream every day, but there was definitely an occasion for it today. Uh, but while I've got you and on that topic, 
Is there an, another night? I'm probably best doing a poll for this, I'd imagine. Is there a better night than a Sunday night for most people? If you were going to watch what I do on here. Because I found that on a Sunday night, the viewership is quite low. So, you know, I want to do a stream for you guys when when you're available to watch, obviously. So, is there any times that you would think would be better? Um, you know, because these streams are here for you guys to tune in for, so it would only make sense if uh, it suits what you need or would like. You know, I know, I know there's a lot of other streams going on at the same time. Um around the seven o'clock mark that seems to be sort of a a hot point um and again not to step on anyone's shoes because that's not the intention but if you want to see me paint then obviously when do you want to watch so how many more hours uh do you have on this ship well i've done one hour so far and i would suspect if i did another two hours it would be finished And the idea tonight is I'm getting this all done in one sitting because the uh, the commission uh, bench is very full at the minute. So I need to work through everything as efficiently as possible. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to rush anything. Everything's going to be of the standard you're going to expect. But I've got a lot of stuff to paint at the minute. Especially doing pre-orders like this. I've got uh, three of these to do. Um, plus my own. So. Um, it's, uh, but all, not all at once. And I've got a, a Z shuttle to do as well. Um, obviously the Farsight Enclave. And then there's still... A lot of stuff in the post on the way as well so it's uh you know painting a lot of it on the stream as well at the minute which is quite nice people get to tune in and and watch their own models being painted okay so Nearly the, the null oil wash. Over all the grey bits. So right, so now I'll just have a check over the model and see if I've missed anything. Or if there's any pooling anywhere and I need to move it. Uh, right, so I know that I've missed the white bits on the guns. Okay, okay. Right, so that's all the base coat's done. Uh, had any weird requests for X-Wing ships recently? Uh, yes. Um, there is one project in the in the pipeline at the moment that i will struggle to stream because <laughs> it will literally fill the entire desk um it's definitely darth maul related and uh let's say if uh, if that one actually comes which i'm sure it will at some point then yeah that's going to be one to uh, to look at Uh, right, so, end of the guns, what colour are they? So, it's kind of a charred black at the end. So, let's get some black on the end of those guns. So, let's just paint them black. And then we'll beat them up with a little bit of... Uh, 
metallic coloration in a little while. So, for the purposes of me cutting this up and highlighting this later on, um, that's the first part done. So when I upload this to YouTube, that'll be the first part. Um, so, you know, if anyone is watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and all that palaver. Head over to the Patreon, you know, get involved with those free giveaways.